At Capella, we press great tasting apples to make delicious apple juice. We do this on Boxford Farm in Suffolk, where we're surrounded by stunning countryside and acres of apple orchards. Springtime is a truly magical time for us. All around us, nature is busy coming back to life after the long, cold winter. And for only about 10 days each year, the orchards become completely transformed with the most magnificent apple blossom. With over 50 years of apple expertise between them, Paul and Steve know how important these 10 days are in the life of an apple tree. My name is Paul. I've been working for 31 years with apples. It's been my life's passion. I'm very passionate about Capella and apple growers in general. This time of year is very crucial and vital to the fruit growing industry. At the moment, at Boxford and the surrounding beautiful Suffolk countryside, the trees are in full blossom and the flowers on the apple trees play a crucial role as this is the start of the apple growing process. It's the most vital time in the apple growing calendar. It's when the bees and the other insects come in after the nectar on the flower and they also pick up the pollen at the same time and then when they move to the next tree they transfer it which then fertilises that flower and it starts swelling into an apple. Blossoming only occurs for 10 days in each year. Obviously the bees and the night insects are the fruit growers' best friends. Sometimes growers feel that the, that the pollination process is enhanced by the growers bringing bees in and they go to their local beekeepers associations and they get their bees brought in and then they're in the, in the orchard for approximately 10 days and when the blossom is all gone we you know that the job is done. April May time is one of the busiest periods for the bee. Everything is out from the horse chestnut, apple blossom, to the sycamores and to the all seed rapes. There's a big source of nectar around and the bees will be pollinating everything. Honey bees will fly within a three mile radius and obviously they'll be visiting all the orchards around Boxford at this time of the year. They will travel from flower to flower with the pollen on the backs of their legs and while they're visiting each flower they will be pollinating. Without pollination there would be no apples. Bees are a vital part of that pollination process. Over the years I've been asked many questions. One of the favourite questions is that people ask they've only got one apple tree in their garden and they wonder why they don't get any apples. One of the reasons is that they haven't got an apple tree or, or an apple tree nearby to help with the pollination. I would uh, plant a different variety of apple, not necessarily in the ground. You could plant on in, into a tub or a container and have it on the patio. One that obviously blooms at the same time as the tree you've got, so the blooming comes together and um, you should, providing it's looked after, should bear some fruit. Springtime is a magical time, but we at Capella are looking forward and waiting eagerly for the summertime, where there'll be lots of little red apples as a result of the pollination and the apples will then be gathered and be made into Capella apple juice.